It's a beautiful day in Ossining, a beautiful day for learning. Could you be mine? Would you be mine? It's a neighborly day in the schools today, a neighborly day for learning. Would you be mine? Could you be mine? I have always wanted to have some students just like you. I've always wanted to live in the neighborhood with you. So let's make the most of this beautiful day. Since we're together, we might as well say, Would you be mine? Could you be mine? Won't you be my neighbor? Won't you be? Won't you be? Please won't you be my neighbor? Hey boys and girls, isn't Austin a great community and a great place to go to school? One of the things that we have most pride in is our dual language program down at Park School. Why don't we take a moment to see what they're doing? Let me give them a call. Hola, hola Coca-Cola, señorita Lavado. Hola, Dr. Sanchez. ¿Tú quieres saber lo que estamos haciendo en el dual language program? Un momento. Amigos, Dr. Sanchez quiere saber cuál fue su parte favorita en kindergarten. Dr. Sanchez wants to know what their favorite part of kindergarten dual language was. My favorite part of kindergarten was when I when I learned science and when I learned how to subtract. Mi parte favorita estaba leyendo muchos libros. I learned math, science, and reading. and girls, weren't those dual language students great at Park School? I can't wait to see them this year at Brookside School. Speaking of Brookside, you know one of the things I most enjoy is walking through the halls and hearing the music coming out of Mr. Corellis's room. Why don't we take a few minutes to hear what's happening now? Brooksiders, let's sing It's You I Like. Isn't that a great song? That song just reminds us of how special the students in Ossining are. Now, I also wanted to do a little bit of a floss, but I decided not this year. One of the things that's happening this year is that there's so many great people starting new roles. Miss Shamsi is going to be a new principal at Claremont School, and Miss Matthews is going to be the new Annam Dorner Middle School principal. I actually think I can see her from here. Let's see what she's doing. Come with me. Hi, Miss Matthews. Welcome to AMD. Thanks, Mr. Block. Let me show you all the wonderful things AMD has to offer. Welcome to AMD, Miss Matthews. Thank you. Here at AMD, we have a great learning environment. 
Each year, teachers challenge us. Yay! At AMD, we have a very diverse and accepting population. I am really excited for this school year. I'm so excited to work with the students and the staff and the parents. This is going to be a great year. I can't wait. AMD rocks. AMD, AMD rocks. rocks. Wow. Isn't the middle school going to be lucky to have Miss Matthews as their building principal? This year is going to rock. Now, one of the things I like to do to make sure my mind is ready to learn is to do some exercise. So why don't we go over to Claremont School and see what they're doing. When I'm healthy, it helps me with school and sports. Because it keeps me fit and so I can be a better athlete every day. I exercise because it keeps my body healthy. Healthy and fit! Wasn't that great? I can't wait to walk into our physical education classes and see all our students involved in different activities. Now, one of the things that sets us apart from other districts is our pride in all that we are. Let's take a moment to go into Mr. Bentley's class at Roosevelt School and see our students as they're working on some beautiful posters on Pride. Pride means about how you feel about yourself and how you feel about your community. Art allows me to express myself. Pride means being yourself and being positive. We are Austin Pride! Wow, those Roosevelt students really have some pride. Now, before I start the new year, I want to reflect on what happened last year. Maybe I should get a yearbook. Trolley, can you get me a yearbook? Hmm. I wonder what our high school students would think. Wow, you guys, <laughs> this has been such an amazing school year. And like, we're graduating soon. That's crazy. That's crazy. Oh yeah. yeah. I mean, my first two years at OHS schools were amazing. And programs like the Drama Club helped me express myself for who I really am. Yeah. yeah, and being a part of the Drama Club and the music program helped me realize like how amazing our community is. And I just can't believe my high school career is halfway done. I'm so happy with the effort I put forth these past three years, uh, especially my junior year too, joining drama and the book club, and it really opened my eyes to the array of clubs you have at the school, and I'm excited to destroy my senior year. Yeah, <laughs> nice, nice. The sports here at OHS are just amazing. They're incredible. The camaraderie that I've built with my teammates and my coaches, it's something that I'm never going to forget, and I'm so thankful for. Yeah, and you get to have, you know, experiences with all different types of people in places like science research or um, in band or in drama club. You know, you get to make friends that could last you a lifetime and have experiences that really change your life. Yeah, totally. And I feel like all these things that like all of us were just talking about have really prepared us seniors, like going to college for so much success and like working hard for our whole lives. So you know what? Thanks, Thanks Austin. Austin. Have, have a great school year. It's such a good feeling, a very good feeling, the feeling you know that I'll be back when the day is new and I'll have more ideas for you and you'll have things you'll want to talk about, I will too. It's going to be a great school year in Austin. And there's one big reason, it's because of you. Have a great school year, everybody.